I could do another episode of Black Belter Unboxing. So we have the Funko Pop uh, Mystery Box from Black Friday. Plus, some other stuff I recently got in the Black Hall. Uh, <laughs> Black Friday uh, Hall Day um, uh, Part 2. So I'm going to need this after all. I always keep it in case um, I ever need it. Um, this you can still get online for 20 bucks um, if you don't want to look at stuff. Um, everything except for the Fungo Pop is the same in every box. There are sprinkled through uh, these um, uh, Yellow Ranger, uh, two different Vegetas, two different Mega Mans. Um, uh, it's mostly like a gold Yellow Ranger I've never seen. But, uh, See what we got. Oh, this is the one I wanted. This is the one I wanted because I did not have a Yellow Ranger. I got lucky. Oh, 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 oh. oh are you kidding me? The Yellow Ranger. I do not have a Yellow Ranger. I've been slowly trying to collect. I do have a Green Ranger. Um, Yellow Ranger might have been from Power Rangers. The original might have been from Power Rangers. Um, Shut off in the last one. Um, what was it? The uh, <laughs> uh, the uh, poster that came in the the, the uh, what was it? Not the poster, the shirt that came off in in the nerd block, a uh, shirt block. Yellow Ranger. This is a cool figure. It's a metallic Yellow Ranger. Um, we have a Yellow Ranger. We have a Green Ranger. I just need blue and black and uh, one of the reds. Also, you can get the box. Um, these are in every one, so there is no variance to these. Um, it's the uh, it's um, uh, rock candy figure on the back from uh, Transfers from Suicide Squad. This is the movie design, movie design, and then we have two Five Nights at Freddy figures, and each one so far I've seen is. They're, they're the same. Um, I don't play Friday Night to Freddy's. I don't think I'm gonna open them. Um, I'll give them away. Um, my nephews. But yeah, I got lucky with that. I can't believe it. I feel bad for uh, Dirty Noob. Dirty Noob got. She's, a, she's her favorite ranger, the yellow ranger, because uh, Trini, I guess. Her family ranger, I don't know, but her um, her favorite ranger was the yellow ranger, and and unfortunately, she got like I did like ten boxes, <laughs> and they get one. I got one. I got the one. So I think it was more of like okay, everybody else got the Vegetas, and you know, this one I got lucky. Got very very lucky. Um, some other bonus stuff we got, and then we'll get to the Black Friday stuff. There it is. Okay. Uh, this is something I think I mentioned. I was looking to pick this up, and I wanted to get it. I missed a chance to get it. I was glad if I still had them. The Clark Grizz Griswold in, uh, because it's a two pack, uh, Funko Pop. Um, this is from National Lance Poon's Christmas Vacation. Um, here's a pack. <laughs> uh, my house is starting to look like that. <laughs> All the lights on it. Um, next. I'm going to take this one. <laughs> Reese's Pieces. I got Reese's Pieces for myself. A snack later. Um, next we have Angel 17. Is that? And we also have. I kept this out for one reason, because I also got the Blu-ray. Naturally, I have actually two different versions of the DVD. The DVD that was um, that was just um, had nothing on it and no extras. This one, uh, I always saw the problem was I always when I saw this I always saw the back had no, no extras on it. This one actually has the good commentary for Randy Quaid who's 
who was in Canada running away from the, from uh, tax evasion. True story. His wife ran to Canada for tax evasion. Ran away from tax evasion. Yeah. Um. So that, I love this movie. I'm glad. It's sort of like one of my favorites that I didn't have on Blu-ray on uh, tape. Um. Next we have Pat Morris's Dinah Charge Christmas Edition. Um. Hero Christmas Edition with the bonus Grace the Rescue Christmas episode. So, is that it? Is the back? <laughs> Next. We have, uh, we have actually have four movies in one. Including uh, All I Want for Christmas, Trading Places, The Last Holiday, and Surviving Christmas. I really got this for All I Want for Christmas. I didn't have it, but I've never really seen Trading Places. I've been always been meaning to see that. Um, that's what Dan I've heard in, uh, in A. Murphy. Uh, about rich guy who trades places with this bum... For uh, Chris during Christmas. Sad, so yeah. Dan Aykroyd and uh, and Eddie Murphy. It's probably probably a really good movie. <laughs> Shine on this fucking thing. The camera light. Nothing much on the back except the descriptions of the movies. Um. And we have, actually, on the other one, why not? And this one, Miss Marigold. I have Call, Call Me Miss Marigold, which I also loved. Uh, Hallmark Movies. Uh, based on the Debbie McComb books, the McComb books. These were fun movies. Those were fun movies. What? I think the, the girl, the actress who played, um,. Mr. Miracle unfortunately passed away a few years ago. Um, next, <laughs> uh, next we have the holiday. Um, I good thinking about this. this is about two women who have switched uh, homes for the holidays. But uh, Cameron Diaz, Kate Moses, Jude Black, and Jack Black. Jude Law, excuse me. They, the Hallmark did, did one, of their, one of their own of this kind of movie. It was also really good. Which also on DVD. Actually, just because it was four bucks and I'm like, I mean, this is, I should have watched these movies, but if I said a Mammoth Christmas special, it's special. Uh, I didn't even know this was on DVD. I think I may have seen... No, I think I may have seen this I've told recently. I didn't know this. Is Have Yourself a Goofy Little Christmas. Um, this is a goofy... Um, I don't know what I'm really saying. I'm just trying to see. But this, I think this is the Christmas special out of Goof Troop. Um, you can see Max, his son, which was introduced in the Goof Troop. Goofy son. Um... Doesn't really say, uh... Yeah, it's, it's a, an episode. No, the group trip. And the last thing for from today's mall is... <coughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Roni Kenshin, the live-action Roni Kenshin movie, part one, Origins. Um... A decent thing about the live action movie. Um, <coughs> it looks like. Um, I'm trying to think of what this is. No. This is like after. I thought that. The, where did you think? Okay, this is going to be where it starts. Like in. Um, the first part of Samurai X, it, it doesn't, 
Uh, it doesn't look like it. It does. Um, at least from what it looks like. Next, we have. Um, uh, we finally got to the Black Friday haul. We have the first FIP DVD I got in a while. FIP Fallout 2015, yeah, 2015, a tag team tournament um, featuring uh, different rest tag teams from around the uh, from around the uh, from the country, going to either mid south, um, MCW, AC, ACW, AWE, FAP. There's that. Um, next we have Dragon Gate open the Ultimate Gate. Um, I'm trying to say this is no. Um, this is actually the last uh, Dragon Gate show. Um, one of the last ones. Uh, the, the next, this next one's the last one. These are the last two Dragon Gate uh, shows, Dragon Gate USA shows, when they stopped coming over and they, um, they actually, this is, this really, they said just doing Evolve shows after this, uh, includes uh, Dragon Gate, Gagano versus Shingo, this is actually my bat, backyards up in Secaucus where I go to the East Coast Comic Con and, uh, Seema and R.A. Fox versus the Young Bucks, Sammy Callan versus Zua Nation, who's now, um, Apollo Crews, uh, Kirito Zawa, Ricochet, uh, Smart, Super Smash Bros. Vita and Tom TT, Trapper vs. John Davis, Scott Reed vs. Dark Rise, Rich Swan vs. Brian Kendrick. <laughs> this is too bad this didn't come last week. It didn't come earlier. <laughs> this came today. Diamond timing. Um, and then this is actually the last, um, Dragon Gate show, which is Shingo versus Akira Tozawa. Um, the six-man tradition continues with, uh, Dragon Gate, Rich Swan and Ricochet versus, uh, Sima Ita and the Tama TT. Uh, High Flyers, Lairs Illegals, it's Brian Kendrick versus Chuck Taylor. I, I, I for some reason, never get, got, I, I think, Chuck's probably one of the most underrated guys in the Indies. Never gets um, the kind of look for the WWE or other companies. <laughs> he teasers are kind of tired and then they end up always just changing his name. <laughs> which, in, which really is stuck. Um, we have the next Margaret. Well, they, they, they still keep like some of the Dragon Gate names for shows with Evolve. With Evolve. But, um,. Next, we have Revolt. Uh, this is not Revolt. Um, Mercury Rising 2015. This was just a WWE, WWE, WWN Super Show. Um, it has no real ties to uh, Dragon Gate. Um, more of a Revolt show with uh, all the guys. It's got Austin Aries, Ronald Strong versus Ricochet. You know, uh, Nate, you know, Hua Nation, Chris Aero versus TMC Thatcher, PJ Black, aka. Um, Ah, Justin Gabriel versus AF Fox, Brett Music versus Drew Gula Gulak versus TT Perkins versus Damian, which is a four-way feature guys who are now actually all in WWE. Um, Drew Galloway versus Dragon Gagano, champion versus champion. They had the Dragon Gate title around for a lot longer than the company, a lot, lot long after the company. They were still, I think they were still hoping to put shows on. And then, uh, then they decided not. Then they decided to drop drop it. Especially drop it. Uh, next we have we should have done this the other way, but this is the way that they were packed in. Um, Revolt 2013 from January 26. That was actually from you know. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna open the Golden Gate, which took place January 25th, 2013, on my birthday. Out in California, it features John Marson versus Akira Tozawa, Young Bucks versus Sammy Callan and Akira Air Cannon, aka DOF, Sorry, Ugly Fucker. Fuckers, yes, that was their name. 
uh, Deus, Jimmy's, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Sasumi and uh, Ryo Saito were trying to get over Swan at WWE. Um, Brian Cage, who's, who was a big talent uh, in Lucha Underground. Samurai the Soul is also on this. So it's, of course, Kalisto in the WWE. Next, we have Revolt. Which is what I was talking about. Um, Dragon Gagano versus John Dave for the No Rope match. This is actually something in Japan, in Japan Dragon Gate um, invented. Uh, that way they start doing it with no ropes. It's really dangerous. But it literally, like, if you ever watch the No Rope Barbed Wire match, it's like that, but with no actual rope barbed wire up. Instead, Young Bucks versus the Jimmies. Uh, Dazawa versus Callahan. AO Fox versus Samurai De Soul. Or Swan versus Ita. Um, a, Cal a Frey match with Brian Cage, Rick Younger, who's now our free, and then we eat Brian. So, yeah. And we have Shine 35, which is a a three way for the with the women, the three way with the tiles on the line. Shine Champion Taylor Made versus Shimmer Champion Mads and Eagles versus TNA Knockout Champion Allison K. Champion versus Champion versus Champion. Whoever loses, whoever gets pinned some men loses to the belt. Well, honestly, <laughs> that didn't really work. It must have done some scurry finish. Uh, let's tell test the plant here. Because there's I mentioned in another video, um, is the daughter of, uh, of Tully Blanchard. They got money in bank match. I mean, somehow they figured that worked out, but we'll see. Um, interesting. I really wanted to catch up on Shine, so there's a, so yeah, that's gonna be it. Um, <laughs> There's some good stuff. Um, stuff I really even mean to pick up. So, don't mind the mess. The way thing is a little bit weird because we're cleaning up. We're finally cleaning up this room. Um, you know, a lot of things sorted out, fixed up. Um, so, 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 that's the reason the box is here. It's really just it's here because um, I didn't know where else to put it at the moment. Um, we're finally getting this room sorted out. So. Hopefully next that next video this room will be a lot more better look and look, look, look nicer and I'll be able to complain. And the room looks like shit. <laughs> There's somebody else that complained about the Christmas tree. I'm like, I keep my Christmas tree up all the year long. So what the fuck? <laughs> so the next time have a good one, everyone. Peace.